Good evening, I'm John Pulu, your host for tonight, and welcome to the Ease Up on the Drink Show. Over the next month, eight teams of three contestants will battle it out, answering questions and performing skits, all about helping our communities help each other ease up on the drink and reduce the harm that happens when people drink too much alcohol. To begin with tonight, we have two groups of contestants who will face off against each other with the winner moving into the semi-final round. Now, on our first team, we have Marlo Peters, Gwen Lolani, and Sandy Malungahu. Welcome to the show. And on our second team, we have Jonas George, Erica Wing, and Nancy Dauna Kamakama. Welcome to you all. Now, the show is split up into three sections. The first section is question and answer. I'll ask a question, and the first team to hit the buzzer will be given a chance to answer the question. If you answer it correctly, that is five points to your team. If you get it wrong, you will lose two points, and the other team will be given the chance to answer the question correctly for five points. If the team gets it wrong, they too will lose two points. The second section requires both teams to make a non-alcoholic drink with provided ingredients and will be judged on taste by our judges. The third section requires both teams to design and perform a skit based on a given message of which both teams will be judged on the following message teamwork and performance. At the end of all the sections, the scores will be added up and the winner will move on to the semi-final round. Prizes up for grabs in the final rounds are third prize, a $500 voucher, second prize, $1,000 voucher, and first prize, $1,500 voucher. Good luck to you all and it's time to begin. Okay, question number one. This is a true or false question. The kind of alcohol we drink is called ethanol. Sandy. True. Correct. Second question. Who would you recommend someone call if they suspect someone is selling liquor illegally? Marlo? Oh, you'd have to ring the police. Correct. Oh. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't <think> that. <laughs> you weren't sure about that one? Congratulations. Okay, guys, next question. What is the legal drinking age? Marlo? 18. 18. Well, in fact, there is no legal drinking age. It's only a legal age uh, when you're purchasing alcohol, which is the age of 18. Oh. Correct. Okay, next question. What does CADS stand for? That's C-A-D-S. What does CADS stand for? It's a tough one. Okay. The answer for that was uh, Community Alcohol and Drug Services. Yeah. Now we're going, ah! <laughs> this question is, drinking too much alcohol may increase the likelihood of which of these diseases? Liver cirrhosis, cancer, fertility problems, or all of the above? And Marlo? All of the above. Correct, again. Good job, Marlo. Okay. Next question. Which of the following will help you sober up if you have been drinking? Number one, coffee, a cold shower, water, all of the above, or none of the above? Sandy? Water? No. <laughs> incorrect. Yes. yes. Erica? All of the above. That's incorrect. Oh. The answer for that one was none of the above. Juice. Yeah. Oh, none of the above. Okay, next question, guys. What percentage of New Zealanders aged 16 to 64 had an alcoholic drink in the last 12 months? By law? Uh, 67%. I'm afraid that answer is incorrect. Let's jump over to uh, team number two. 80%. Oh, that's very close, but um, that's incorrect. It's actually 85%. True or false? The more you drink, the greater the risk of injury. Nancy? True. Very, very, very true. <laughs> Good one. Okay, next question. Approximately what percent of all fatal house fires in New Zealand involve alcohol? Uh, 
Okay, the answer for that one was 50%. 50%. Okay, next question. Between 2002 and 2007, what percent of New Zealand drownings were known to involve alcohol or, and or drugs? Okay, the answer for that one was 20%. Okay, next question. Alcohol or drugs contribute to what percent of fatal road crashes? Now we're dealing with numbers here. The answer for that one was 30%. Okay, next question. What hours is the alcohol drug helpline open? Sandy? Is it 10 till 10? Correct, my friend. 10 till 10 is correct. Okay, the next question. How much pure alcohol is in a standard drink? Jonas? 10 grams? Yes. Correct. Good one. Welcome to the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. How many standard drinks in an average bottle of wine? Jonas? It's standard drinks. Oh, my friend. That's incorrect. No? Let's go over to uh, team number one. I'll repeat the question again. How many standard drinks in an average bottle of wine? Okay, the answer for that one was about seven. Oh. Oh. Next question. How many standard drinks are there in a 30 milliliter? Of straight spirit. How many standard drinks are there in 30 milliliters of straight spirit? Jonas! One standard. Correct. It's roughly about one, so keep it at one, mate. Okay. Yeah. How long does it take the liver of a healthy young man to process a standard drink? Jonas? One hour. Correct. It's about an hour, so oh, very correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, congratulations. <laughs> Let's move on to the next set of questions. Alcohol relaxes the muscles at the back of your mouth, increasing the likelihood of snoring. Is that true or false? It's true. Sandy. Oh. I'm afraid you're true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just alcohol, though. Yeah. Just more, yeah, yeah. Okay, next question. True or false? Alcohol does not affect women and men differently. Sandy? It's false. false. No, it's true. Yeah, it's false. Correct, Sandy. It's false. Women are generally uh, affected more quickly by alcohol than men, and the yeah. effects last longer. Cool. Okay, next question. How many calories are there in a pint of lager? Up to 75. 125 mm -hmm. or 180. I'll repeat that one again. How many calories are there in a pint of lager? Is it up to 75, 125 or 180? The answer for that one was 180. Oh, yeah. oh. you knew that, eh, Jonas? Okay. Let's move on to uh, the next set of questions. What does FASD stand for? FASD. What does it stand for? Jonas? Fetal Alcohol Syndrome Disorder. Oh, that's very close, but incorrect, my friend. Sorry about that. Very, very cl close. Good try. Let's move on to uh, team number one. Is it F-A-D-S? F-A-S-D. Oh. The answer for that one was fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> what amount of alcohol is safe to drink when you are pregnant? Nothing. Sandy? Nothing. Nothing at all. Correct. Okay, next question. Name three things you could do to be a responsible host when you are having a party or celebration. I'll repeat that one again. Name three things you could do to be a responsible host 
when you are having a party or celebration? Just three. Name it. Erica. Um, a sober driver. Mm hmm And um, um, have a provides a lot of food. Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> Now we're talking. What party is that? Okay. Yes. And and non-alcohol. Drinks? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Provide interesting non alcohol drinks. Have a substantial food and serve it early on and uh, throughout the night. Set your expectations before the party about having a great time but uh, not getting drunk. Make sure people are not drinking and driving, so that's good. And uh, finally, don't keep serving your guests until, uh, until they are drunk. Yeah. So everyone remember that? <laughs> but I know you guys are not going to be joking at all about this. That's Milo all the way from here. Okay. Next question. What information must be displayed on the label of all alcohol bottles? <laughs> Sandy! <laughs> Hello. Is it how much alcohol is contained in the bottle or like on the label? has to be on every um, can, bottle, or box. Nice. Let's go to this side. Um, yes, Erica. <laughs> it's um, actually the, um, warning. the warning of what alcohol can do to your body. Okay. <laughs> the answer for that one was uh, alcohol content and number of standard drinks. Okay, next question. Who most commonly supplies under 18 year olds with alcohol? Is it shop owners, friends, or parents? Sandy? Is it their parent or legal guardian? Correct. Fantastic. Okay, next question. How many standard drinks do you think? are in a 330ml bottle of beer. Jonas? One. Oh. Very close. The answer for that one was 1.3. Okay, final question. What is binge drinking? Marlo? Overconsumption of alcohol itself. Exceeding intake, exceeding intake of alcohol. I'll reward you that one. It's actually drinking a lot of alcohol on one drinking occasion, so it's exceeding. Yeah, yeah because you want that one, don't you? <laughs> Congratulations. That sums up uh, round one. Now, coming up after the break, who can make the best tasting non alcoholic drink? That's next. See you when we return. Welcome back to the Ease Up on the Drink show, a show all about the things we can do to look after each other around alcohol and ease up on the drink. Now, section two of tonight's program is a competition to see which team can make the best tasting non-alcoholic drink in five minutes. Now, we've provided the ingredients and basic in instructions, but it's up to the team to add their own style and flair to win over the judges' uh, taste buds for a maximum of 20 points. And on that note, please allow me to introduce our judges for tonight. First of all, we have John Oagawa. Good evening. Welcome to the show, John. Thank you very uh, much. Secondly, we have Metua Bates Fasisila. Kia ora na. Kia ora na. And we have Linda Maui. Malo Lele. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So teams, are you ready? Yes. Your five minutes starts now. Easy there, Nancy, not too much. We don't want to have diabetes as well.
Time's up, guys. A look at that. Congratulations. Big clap for everyone. It's a good idea to provide alcohol-free drinks when you're having a party. It means alcohol is not the only option. So maybe try this one. Okay, let's welcome the judges. Very nice. Very nice. Very sweet. I like okay. the, the pineapple floating around there. That's pretty rustic. <laughs> not too sweet, not too bad. Yeah. Oh, she's a toughie. Are you related to Gordon Ramsay by any chance? <laughs> He's my brother. <laughs> I can tell. Beautiful, very nice. Very similar. Um, but yeah, I like the honey the, uh, coating the glass there. I find it just right, the sugar taste, and I believe it's the honey taste mm. that was slowly poured onto the glass first that gave it the taste. Mm, that honey on the rim does make a difference. Um, I have to say, I quite like how the, the glasses were laid up. I think it tells us something about the teams. That was um, deliberate, eh, guys? I mean, yeah. <laughs> they planned that, you know. You don't know how many hours they went to research how to restructure the cups there. Both really nice. Fantastic. <laughs> Welcome back to the program. Now let's cross over to our judges to find out how they scored the teams. John, tell me, how did you score them? Okay, for the... Um, Team one, the red team, I've given them 10 points. Oh, 10 points. And team two, the black team, 15 points. 15 points, oh, big hands for that. So well done to the black team. Um, yes, I thought the black team uh, did a very good effort there. They, they worked very well together, um, very tidy, kept um, cleaning up um, after themselves. Yep. And yep, great presentation with that honey, that certainly did the trick. Okay, Mentor, what's, what's your verdict? Similar to John, I um, and I wasn't copying him. <laughs> but yes, I, I scored the same way um, for very similar reasons. So 15 points to uh, the black to the team, black team and, and 10 and to 10. the red. Yep. Okay. Both did well. It was really hard, but yes. Indeed. Congratulations again. Uh, okay, let's uh, cross over to our uh, final uh, judge. I gave the red team 10 and uh, 15 for the black team. Oh, congratulations. Now, big hands for that. <laughs> and the winner of that round is the black team. Congratulations, guys. Good job. <laughs> well done to our teams. Only one section left to see who will be our winners for tonight. And that means after the break, it's time for our teams to hit the stage with our Bring It On skits section. It's going to be fun, so don't go away. Well, it's time for our two teams to battle it out on stage to see who will move on to the semi-final round. The rules for round three are both teams have had 15 minutes to come up with a skit based on important messages about things we can do to look after each other around alcohol. Each team will, be, uh, will perform their item and will be judged on message, teamwork and delivery. Okay, and first up we have team one. Okay, Sandy, tell me, what uh, message uh, did you guys choose to uh, perform tonight? Um, we've chosen awareness of and confidence in calling the alcohol and drug helpline. Fantastic. All the best. The stage is all yours. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, who could that be? Hello. Hi. Is this you, Queen? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. What do you want? <laughs> what are you up to? Cleaning, oh. as usual. Is that right? Yeah. How was your night last night? Oh, not one to gossip, <gasps> but I saw Sandy. Oh! I saw Sandy this morning. Who? At My Sandy? Yeah. Well, that's impossible. She was in her room doing no, her homework. No, no. 
No, I'm telling you, John saw her and I saw her too. She was drunk, drunk at club, club hippie. You're not just saying this to spite me, right? No, she was drunk as a skunk. You know, you better talk to that girl. You know, the family will be discussing and, and backstabbing all about it. So, I, you know... Oh, that's you... enough from you, thanks. Oh. How is this possible? How is this possible? Where is it? Jane! <sighs> oh! What do you want? What have you been up to? What do you mean, what have I been up to? What are you out last night? What's your problem? No, no, you, you listen to me. Why you, should I, I did you? not race you to Why become an alcoholic you? like your father. Why should I listen to you? I cannot believe this. I'm hearing this nonsense from you. You're still living under my roof. And? You don't set the example for me? How can you tell me what to do? No, 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 you do not tell me what At to least do. I'm not a no, you do not At tell least me I'm what not a hypocrite and I go to hey, church hey, 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 what's going on here? What's Look, I love my mum. I know, I know. And I want her to get help. Yep, no, but if we, we've got systems put in place oh. and there's a lot of help out oh, there. I've got the, the 0800 number. We can all get together. We can discuss it. There's no fighting, no crime. And if we talk about this amicably amongst all of us and family, there's help. I think that she's right. Okay. I would like to do that. Okay. <laughs> That's a cut. Awesome, guys. Fantastic. That was a great performance. Now it's over to team number two. Hello. Anna. Hello. Hello. Anna. Come on, keep down. Your daddy's gonna hear you. You promised me that you're not going to drink anymore. I didn't promise. What's all this noise? <gasps> the young ones are sleeping. Hasn't he it's nothing. He's been drinking again. I can handle it. In your look. room, girl. Why? I, 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 I in just started. I just started. Go. Look, Dad. I'm okay. Look, I can. I can stand in one foot. She's all right. I'll I can handle stand it. One foot. Oh, Come on. Had look, enough. Look. We need some oh, help. Single ladies. Oh, single no. ladies. Oh, single ladies. Come on. This is ripping uh, our family uh, apart. Uh, we need to get help with this. We don't she's, need help. She's been drinking we're every week for the Come last on. month. Come on. We're the Look parents. At we are here to help her. So I'm okay, going to help her by putting her to sleep. I'll go and get her into her bed now. Okay. Now, lots I'm gonna ring for of help. drinking I've, help. No, I've had enough. That's it. Who are you going to call? I'm going to call the mm -hmm. truck and I'll call a helpline. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do? Here. They're going to help us. They can come in and talk to us and give us some help with this daughter I of ours. I just don't want people to talk about my family. Yeah. Well, I don't care about okay, I what the other families are saying. We can sort it out ourselves. My priority is this family here and I need to get help. Hello? Is this the alcohol and uh, drug uh, helpline? No, it's the Crab Scopio. Yeah, well, we need help. Because my daughter has been drinking all week. Yep. Okay guys, let's find out what the judges have to say. John, how did you score the red team? Okay, I gave the uh, red team 45 and the black team 40. So I, th I thought the uh, red team did very well. They were um, some Academy Award um, winning performances there. I mean, the whole, it was very dramatic. You could sort of actually feel the turmoil in, the, in that sort of family situation. It certainly brought the message home. Okay, Metua. Metua, how did you score the teams tonight? It was really tough, really, really tough. Oh, I bet. And um, the winning team by one point for me was black. Ooh. Okay, Linda, how did you score the teams? I gave the red team 45. Um, I really, really liked the organisation of the story. I think it had a great beginning. Uh, there was a bit of a journey there that you were building on the journey and you had a great ending. You three were pretty natural and, and confident um, on the stage. So great work there. So 45 for them. And for the black team, I gave 44. I felt they was kind of lagging a little bit. You should have drive the message straight and, and be there. Uh, but apart from their team effort, great stuff. Thank you all. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you once again to our judges, and that means our winner for tonight is... The Red Team! Oh! It's the Red Team! <laughs>
And now team number two, thank you for participating on tonight's program. You won't go away empty handed because we have a t-shirt for each team member to help spread the important message for our community. Ease up on the drink. Uh, don't forget our message tonight. And if you're struggling or know of anyone who's struggling with alcohol abuse, you can call the Pacific Alcohol Drug Helpline on 0800 787 799 to talk to someone about your drinking or the drinking of someone you care about. We all do have a role in looking after the people we care about around alcohol. So let's do it and help spread the message, ease up on the drink. Well, that's it for tonight's show. Make sure you tune in next week as another two teams will battle it out, both with a chance to make it into the semi-final rounds. Thanks for watching and bye for now.